Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. May you be blessed in the land of the living. In Jesus' name, amen. Our topic today is don't rely on people. I want to talk to you today about not relying on people. It's great when people believe in us and cheer us on and make us feel vulnerable. We love when our spouses compliment us, a friend is there to give encouragement, our co-worker stays late to help us on a project. God uses people to help move us towards our destiny. But here is the key. You can't become so dependent on people that you're getting your worth and value out of how they treat you. It's easy to become addicted to compliments, addicted to encouragement, addicted to them cheering you on. Now you rely on them to keep you feeling good about yourself, to always be there to validate you, to make you feel approved like a drug. If you don't keep you fixed, meet all your expectations, you get discouraged, feel inferior, work over time to try to win their approval. The problem is, you are trying to get from people what only God can give. Your worth, your value doesn't come from another person. It comes from your creator. And if you rely on people, you will be disappointed. People will let you down. People will get busy and not be there when you need it. Sometimes people will even turn on you. In the scripture, Peter was Jesus' close friend. They were with each other day and night. But when Jesus needed Peter the most, when he was about to be crucified, Peter denied that he even knew Christ. Jesus could have been upset. Why wasn't my friend there for me? He would have missed his destiny. Quit relying on people. What they do or don't do doesn't determine your worth. What they give you or don't give you can't stop your purpose. God breathed his life unto you. He has crowned you with his favor. Quit waiting for people to approve you and start approving yourself. People may not encourage you. You could encourage yourself. People may not make you feel special. You can make yourself feel special. I'm a child of the Most High God. I know I'm crowned in favor. I'm one of a kind. I am a masterpiece. Okay? You will have better relationships if you start validating yourself. If you are always depending on somebody else, you will become needy, a burden, waiting for other people to keep you fixed. Can I tell you, your friends, family members, they have enough problems of their own. They have enough issues that they are dealing with to not come home and not to work on you for three hours. There is not only hurting you, it's unfair to people God put in your life. They are not responsible for your happiness. They are not responsible to keep you cheered up. Don't put that extra pressure on them. Learn to receive your value, your self-worth from your Heavenly Father. If you are basing that off of what people give you, then if they change their mind, if they stop doing it, you will feel devalued. But when you go to God for it, nobody can take it away. It's not dependent on how somebody treats you, how they make you feel, how many compliments they give you. It's dependent on the fact that you are a child of Almighty God. And he, you know He has already approved you. That's where you're getting your value. Okay? You know, sometimes some people will say doctor my parents didn't raise me right i didn't have good childhood or my spouse never compliments me my boss didn't give me the credit that i deserve i say this respectively if you didn't get it you didn't need it they can't stop your destiny what they say or do cannot override god's plan for your life shake off the negativity that person that walked away did you wrong made hopeful comments shake off the disrespect don't believe the lies that you are not talented enough attractive enough good enough they don't determine your value 
They can't lessen your self-worth. The only power people have over you is the power that you give them. Jesus had all kinds of people come against him. Politicians, religious leaders, haters, critics, trying to discredit him, make him feel inferior, cause him to give up. He could have taken the bite, thought, I must not be too special. Listen to what they are saying. Look at how they are treating me. But Jesus understood this principle. He knew his value. Don't come from people. You have value does not come from people it came from his heavenly father your heavenly father and jesus said to them in john chapter 5 your approval or disapproval means nothing to me he was saying i don't need your approval to feel good about myself i don't have to have your encouragement your support to keep me moving forward paul said it this way in philippians i'm self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency, not in our own strength. But when we know the creator of the universe lives in us, he has equipped us, empowered us, anointed us, we can put our shoulders back, hold our head up high, knowing that if God approves us, we don't have to have people approval. And it's good when people encourage us, when they cheer us up. What am I saying? Is don't become dependent on that. If somebody is not is not giving you what you expect, they are not validating you. That's okay. You can validate yourself. You can approve yourself. You are self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. You can feel good about who you are, knowing that God hand picked you, created you in his image, put seeds of greatness on this inside. What am I saying? You don't need somebody else praise at all. You don't have to have people's applause. You have the applause from the one who matters most, from the God who spoke wells into existence. I would rather have his applause than people's applause. That is me. Well, if I could convince this person to like me, they know a lot of people, then maybe some, some new doors will open. <laughs> the scripture says promotion doesn't come from people. It comes from the Lord. God knows where all the opportunities are. He can make things happen for you without you having to convince somebody to like you. You don't have to play up to people. Try to win their favor. If they don't want to be your friend, is their loss and not yours do yourself a favor and keep moving forward they are not a part of your destiny god has divine connections people he has already lined up they're already in your future sometimes the reason people don't give us what we need is because they don't have it nobody gave it to them and if you are trying to get it from them you are going to be frustrated why don't you let them off the hook and go to God for what they can give you. Here is the key. God has it all. If you will learn this principle to not rely on people, but go to him for your encouragement, for your approval, for your self-worth, then you won't live stressed out because somebody is not giving you what you expect. If nobody's complimenting you, you can compliment yourself. Say what God says about you. I'm strong. I'm healthy. I'm one of a kind. I'm highly favored. You have to build yourself up. Encourage yourself. Compliment yourself. You cannot rely on your spouse, your parents, your coach, your teacher, your pastor. They may seem well. They couldn't love you anymore. But no person can meet all, all of your needs. Only God can. If you are just looking to people, eventually you are going to become stressed, resentful, bitter. Start holding that against them. It will soil your relationship. And the truth is, it's not their fault. Maybe they have issues. They could be doing better in areas. But if you will not rely on people, instead go to God, then you will be dependent on what somebody does. If they are not giving you what you need and that was the only way to get it they will control your destiny god didn't design the plan for your life and say okay it's all dependent on 
if these other people do what is right if they encourage you if they cheer you on if they never let you down no god put everything you need within your power and instead of us living needy oh man why don't they compliment me why won't they be my friend the right attitude is nobody owes me anything i don't have to have people's credit their applause their support their compliments i'm self-sufficient i know where to go for everything that i need why don't you let the people in your life off the hook <laughs> maybe nobody gave them what they needed to give to you bottom line nobody owes you anything god is keeping all the records amen quit looking to people to make it up to you quit trying to get somebody to apologize to admit they were wrong to give you what they didn't have if you go to god he will give you out better he will make the rest of your life more rewarding more fulfilling than it would have been if that hadn't have happened in the first place let it go and come to jesus he will make everything right please trust nobody only jesus christ may you be blessed in jesus mighty name amen